that well in in Thursday's scrim, which makes sense considering you haven't touched Baptiste in quite a while and you're switching roles. Um, hence why I think it's worth going over. Um, I I don't know whether to go through. I know I want to go through Gibraltar. Um, I don't know if I want to go through Antarctic Peninsula or some of the other maps that we tried to brawl on. Um, because your bat did get better throughout. Um, I guess we can look at uh. Well, yeah, okay, we, we'll look at Gibraltar first, um, considering that was the funny map, um, and, yeah, uh, let's see. Okay, cool. And obviously you weren't, before the scrim actually started, I, okay, we're already on third point here. Um, I'll, I'll show you what I tried to do, I, I, I obviously, I added you the other day, but the idea basically was, um, we sort of set up a pincer, uh, from the high ground here, where, let's get a good angle, um, I am here on May, uh, Edward can be here, but he can also be here, it doesn't really matter too much, but essentially, I am here, you are here with, I uh, Cot's or, Cot's like here-ish, right, um, you're here, Skell's here on Torb, our Sigma here is, is there too, a bit too thick, and then we, you set up a window here, right, um, that's too thin now, uh, I used to have a window there, you clear out this entire high ground, and then I wall myself up, I can throw the blizzard here and clear this high ground too, and essentially what happens is they get pinned from two directions and we clear out the high grounds like pretty, pretty darn quickly, um, from there and from there. So we clear out the high ground really, really well, then afterwards, um, me and Lucio will be on the high ground here controlling it, our Sigma will drop and push cart, and then you can actually just stand there with your Torb, or Torb can even drop too if you want to set up turrets, and then we just control the high ground. In fact, the Torb here, in fact, you guys should actually be rotating to high ground here eventually, uh, especially if these guys are all dead, um, but that's the strat for third point uh, attack on retakes. Um, when, when we cap second point attack on Gibraltar, um, I'll, depending on our alt economy and how much space we have, I'll make the call as to whether we should actually do this kind of play. Um, if not, then again, we do the exact same rotation. Maybe I haven't got blizzards. Then again, we'll rotate through here and then we'll bunker in here. And I look to clear out and take the side on initially. Um, there is also, I mean, I say that there is also a little gap here where... I can actually shoot on May. Right? I can actually wall myself up here and then wall myself up here again. And there's a little slit where I can actually fire icicles to contest the side ground. So maybe that's something I also want to do as well. Uh, but essentially, in almost all cases, you should probably be rotating um, on this high ground over here. Uh, just for clarification. Um, okay, yeah. yeah. And you should be doing it not too early. We'll get into the VOD as well because you, you do get caught off on some rotations. But... Yeah, just so I'd, I'd, I'd bring that up. Uh, maybe there's some place where we could, you know, maybe do some crazy shit. Like, um, the BAP may... Uh, you can extra jump over here. You uh, fucking amplica amplification matrix as high grounds. I can wall over. Um, and then Lucio can be here too. Maybe our Sigma and Torb just push cart. And then we can do this kind of thing as well. Um, but I haven't talked to that about the team. Maybe that's something I call in, in the actual game if we need to. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's a few ways we can get creative about attacking third, but yeah. Anyways, um, the Baptiste. Okay, so... Okay, so like the main things whenever I coach Bap is... Or the, the most important thing. Um, and this actually goes for any other most heroes in the game. But it's just, it's literally just mid fire rotations. Because the rest of your, quit, your, your kit is actually quite simple. Um, Bap is a very simple hero, but he's not easy. Um, as in, he's very intuitive in terms of, like, actually how to use your kit properly. But in actually executing that and mechanically pulling that off, he's quite hard. Um, in, in essence, of course, you want to be within 10 meters range to region burst either any of us, really. Uh, don't be out of the range for that. Lamp is also important. I'd rather you lamp early than ramp late, because there are some times where you actually have lamp delay and or just, you're just too late on the lamp. Um, in new patch, that shouldn't be too much of an issue, because everyone's got more HP, so you should have more time to react. But look for visual cues of aggression to allow... I'll call it cues of aggression. Um, to allow you to get your lamp timing pretty much pinpoint perfect. Um, because if you if you see our Sigma, who's low HP, 
but he's got a massive ball of like, you know, he's, he's using this connect to grasp, and he's got a massive ball, and he's not taking that much damage from too many different angles, you probably don't need to lamp him. Whereas, if he's using grasp, and he's getting shot all around the place, you probably need to lamp him a bit earlier. Um, so yeah, cruise, cruise of aggression is really important, and that goes for anyone on, on the team. Um, the, the thing I wanted to mention though was um, your mid-fight rotations, which is essentially looking to... Um, dynamically move as the fight progresses. Um, and it's, it's really important to do this against Dive because you do not want someone like their Tracer or uh, frankly anyone on the, on, the, on the enemy team to actually stage a dive onto you. Um, now for the most part, because of, of the way we're playing this map and the way we're bunkering, you can actually just stand here for the, for the most part and you'll be fine. But even something as small as uh, peeking out here and looking to window, or peeking out here at the right time, which is really important, something I don't think you did that much, um, is a really important cue, like a really important rotation to do. Actually, now that I mention that, I want to bring up Hollywood because um, that was, yeah, we still got Hollywood. That was something that's really important to get down. Um, it's the timing of like your, of your aggression essentially, uh, especially when we get to second point here. Um, okay, yeah. So we just cap first. We're pushing high ground here. I think I make the call for Edward to stay cart or something, and then the rest of us push high ground here. Right. So right now we know that monkey is like, completely isolated from his entire team. Right? So no matter what happens, this guy, and he's committed bubble too, by the way, no matter what happens, this guy is going to jump out eventually, right? Which means these guys, their dive is going to be on their downtime, right? They're not, they're not actually going to have time to actually dive. Um, and I, and I, again, I've talked about this before with the spar framework, right? It's ma mainly focused on the par part, the S part is just scouting. Um, but it's prevents, right? Uh, absorb and then rotate. Uh, and I'll sort of, I'll highlight each stage of the dive, um, as it goes to their comp right now. So right now we're just absorbing, right? And it's very easy to absorb this, because their Genji's still in spawn, their soldier's not on high ground, and their Ana can't see the rest of our team, nor can she see her monkey. So this is really easy to absorb. So as soon as this guy jumps out, I want us all walking. Right? So like, right now, right, now we're in the rotate stage. Now, I unironically want you to window here, we can push this high ground, and we can catch them on their downtime, right? Because this guy is not going to fucking nanoblade when his, when his monkey's out, right? Look how much distance the enemy team have, right, compared to us. We are able to use our range, poke out with Matrix, and take all of the space because their monkey's completely out, right? They can't, they can't dive. They've used bubble, they've used jump, they can't do, they can't do shit. So right now, I, is, I should probably be calling this, right? But not, right now, it will be actually completely fine for you to window, right? As long as we're able to actually, like, take space and use, like, say something, like, guys, I'm looking to, I want to window after the monkey jumps out, or guys, I'm looking to window, can we push? Something like, something like that, that tells our team that we want to push it, can actually be really beneficial, right? And maybe we actually catch up this monkey, right? Look at them. Fucking open space, no bubble, no jump. <laughs> like, this guy's actually really <laughs> killable with window. Um, so, yeah, like, a window here. Top, top spam, right? Take this entire space, clear this high ground as fast as we can, and then they can't even, they don't even get a chance to, to nanoblade, right? Maybe we take this space, sure, maybe they nanoblade us, right? But then we've got like Torbolt, we've got beat, right? Maybe the Edward can actually speed across here, we can kind of, you can jump off the high ground, he can beat us, we're kind of chilling. So that's really key. And we should be able to take the space, like, unironically, because the monkey's, like, on low ground here. Like, there's a five-second window, right? A five- to six-second window where we can actually push and take space. And now we're in the prevent stage. So the rotate stage is over, now we're in the prevent stage. And again, you can actually use your matrix in the prevent stage. You can actually do that, right? Like, if you'd matrix here, and we chunk their monkey, or we kill, or maybe Skell gets a one-shot onto their soldier, or maybe you get good damage onto the soldier too, Bap can do a lot of damage himself, maybe I get a good right-click, right? Um, and I, I one-shot their, their, their soldier, maybe I poke him a lot and force him to get off the low ground, something like that. And especially considering that Arna's on low ground too, like, Bap window, as long as you're able to, like, actually walk with it and take space, it's not bad. Um, so yeah, I, here, like, we're just giving them time to stage, right? We're not disrupting them in the, in the dive stage process. And if you watched um, Commander X's video uh, on, on, on against Atlanta Rain, this is something he talks about all the time. It's about being proactive and preventing the dive and disrupting the staging. 
Right, maybe you window here. Look at this guy, right? Fucking bozo is in open space, right? Um, a window here. You destroy that guy. He's half HP. They get a scoffed ass dive. We coom the fucking um, the nano blade, right? We can cut a fire gun too. Edward can beat us, right? We automatically win that fight. And I think this is something that you probably realize on mid on midtown, especially the last map we played, where I was doing a lot of these early fight calls and keeping these guys on their back foot, right? That is something we absolutely need to do against dive. Keep them on their back foot um, during the prevent and the um, the rotate stage. So right now the monkeys jumped in, their honor's lacking a bit behind, they're not, they're not even nanoblading right now. And again, now, so we've absorbed the dive, right? I, so I wore this because I want to absorb the dive. I do not want this person getting a nade, and I actually, I, I can't wall this because of the um, little fucking ridge, unfortunately. Um, so I wore this, right? So I think it maybe blocks it. It doesn't quite block it, right? But it forces the honor to get a scut, like look at this angle, right? She's not getting a nade, she's just not. Um, so, that, so this is a fairly decent wall by me. And now we've absorbed. Alright, so now again, we're in the rotate stage. If you window after my wall goes down, we can actually catch this Genji, we can catch this monkey. Now I'm thinking, I, now I think I, I, in the scrim, I'm, I'm actually shouting window. Like window, 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 window. Like right now, if you, if you window like three, four seconds earlier, we can one-shot this Genji, push away the monkey even further, get a pick onto these guys, right, because now they're desynced. Right? This guy's out, this guy's in, right? Now is our opportunity to catch this guy or catch this guy. Probably this guy. Um, but yeah, like now is when I'm shouting window, right? Like you need to be able to realize this in game and actually understand the cycles of their dive, right? If I had to draw a graph, and you're a fucking STEM student, so you, you must love fucking graphs, um, of like time. You this might be familiar to you if you've watched or any of the uh, ang angels coaching I did. Um, but their composition, I'll draw it in blue. Their comp looks like this. Oh, that's fucking yellow, bro. Uh, um, their comp looks like this. <laughs> um, uh, so the, uh, this is, and I'll draw our comp. Our comp kind of looks like this. Uh, we'll use yellow. We'll use yellow. Right. Um, again, this is the prevent stage. Call it P. This is the absorb stage. And then this is the rotate stage. Right. Now this absorb stage is going to get hard, and it's actually something you don't need. It's actually just, again, it's intuitive, right? It's you. You use your region burst. You use your lamp, right? Um, it's mainly up to me and Nihilo, uh, to absorb that the best we can, and to use alts like uh Coom and B as well. Those things can help absorb dives, right? Um, so again, making sure we're able to absorb that is is really important. But you as BAP, your window can be used in either of these stages, and what it does is if you use window right now. Uh, in the prevent stage, you prevent or prolong, or even maybe this peak, this this little uh this peak of the graph doesn't even happen, right? Maybe the dive is permanently like this, right? Because you use window, um. So that's really that's really important to to understand. And again, this sort of spike, what it visually looks like in game, is is mainly bubble against in monkey comps. It's mainly bubble, but tank CDs, um, the actual dive. Right, stuff like that. That's the actual dive itself. That's the absorb stage. This stage, this what this will look like in game. Are uh, DPS taking angles? Uh, taking angles. Um, yeah, it's mainly that honestly. Like it's just like taking high grounds, right? All that fucking jibber jabber of like these guys rotating to high ground. That is the prevent stage. That's something we can prevent, right? And if you get a window here, let me see the LOS of the window. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's actually really good, right? Like, you clear off this, you clear off this, you clear off the entirety of this, you clear off this, like, it's really good, right? And that's what Window is really, really good for. Um, so I think I'm now I'm shouting it, but now you, you, you do it too late, right? And now we're in the Absorb stage, but this is fuck all in the Absorb, this literally does nothing in the Absorb stage, right? Why? Because we're all looking at this guy, not, not through the window. Right? That's why this window gets no value. So, hopefully you understand that Window, of like a when to window and to be more decisive in your actual in your actual windows, um and again do it like in midtown this was done I think we could look like at midtown where it was done quite a bit better because again I think I did all of the early calls here um BS zero uh, I think I already have it in to be honest maybe I was talking to Owen about it and I haven't um but especially when we got to the second half of the map here it's all about keeping in them on their back foot um. Uh, I call it here? 
So again, they're not playing dive here, right? But I think I think we all checked that we're at an ultimate advantage here. I think if I remember correctly, I called that they have Blizzard, which they don't because their mates have been dying a lot. And they have Shatter. Um, so yeah, like we're at an ultimate advantage right now. Because they have we assume they have four, then we have like two or three. So I think I make the call it to like window early and, and I think I wall up the vine maybe. Um Yeah, right, so like, th this is really, really good, right, this is this is an example of a perfect window, because right now they're rotating, they're staging, so to say, right, um, on, onto our, onto the high ground here, these guys can't walk, because of the window, right, because of the LOS, this guy gets split off entirely, right, and what ends up happening is that we just wall of iron, he gets split completely, and he dies, and not to mention he dies too, because, again, anyone who peeks window dies, and the, yeah, the vine gets fucked, right, so... That's a lot. That's a significantly better example of a, of a window, there. and that's kind of what I want us to do against dive. Against brawl, it's a little bit more weird. Um, it's more so about tempo, um, and, and don't worry about that. I'll make I'll make the calls in the actual game itself. Um, but against dive, like that spa framework is really important to understand. Um, and 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 yeah, so we do we do things. Um, but yeah. Okay, back to Gibraltar. That was a massive tangent about not really tangent because it's a, it's a really important thing. But sort of like understanding window placement against dive is really, really, really important. Um, so, yeah, but just to nail this in even more, I think I'll pull up an example. Uh, Commander X. It was in World Cup. Uh, what was it? Saudi Arabia versus China in the finals, I think. Um, I want to quick account here. Okay, I am. Uh, let's see. All uncoachable stuff. Uh, Saudi Arabia. I think that's one that I got 26k views. I guess I'll just be so quite popular. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. 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 Um. Around about here. Yeah. So like here, you can see Command X. So what what uh Saudi Arabia are trying to do is clear out as much space as possible. So you're seeing right now that China are staging a dive by taking angles here, taking angles here, taking angles here. By windowing early, what that does is prevent all of that staging, right? Because your window covers such a big LOS. Um, I think what Commander X talks about here is the fact that Saudi Arabia don't actually push with the window, right? And they stack it on top of the uh, the sim wall. So ideally, we, the sim wall would be like this, so it cuts off the honor and it cuts off the Winston. Um, and then you just push and clear the Winston, right? Um, and you can clear it because of the window. Um, so that's really important. So yeah, you can see that Saudi Arabia are just standing still, right? And they need to be clearing out leave, and they need to be clearing out Gushway. And he talks about, talk about the wall, right? There's some wall. Um, see here. So they, they do kind of clear it, but like, they need to be pushing way farther with this, with this, with these uh, ultimates here. Uh, they need to like, at least get a pick here with these two ults. Um, but now they're just back. They're just, they're just staging the other way now. Um, and then. Then it's fucking Saudi Arabia's turn to actually get a... Oh, sorry, China's turn to actually dive, and they dive with, like, a blade. And then Arabia have used two ultimates, and they die, and they lose this fight. Right, so ideally, again, when we window, we just push hard and take space. And we, we should, it should be able... It should be easier with our comp, because we've got speed boost. Um, so, yeah, that's really important. And again, I can... I'm playing May as well. I can wall this off. We can just rush and kill the Winston here in this example here, right? Like, that's really key. So that's another example of, like, again, windowing in the prevent stage, or windowing early. Um... So that's how you use window and dive. Okay, as for this, it's again pretty pretty arbitrary. Uh if I'm being nitpicky, just let this guy walk first, right? Because he's the fucking tank. The golden rule of tanks and rotations is that you're the first one in and you're the last one out, right? You as Baptiste should never be the first one in. Um you should be the the yeah, you should be like second one in. I don't know how it actually works in the analogy here, but essentially this guy and me, we we, we will clear the, we will clear the rotations for you. Um, so you don't need to worry about that too much. Okay, all fine. Relatively fine, yeah. Be a little bit careful of like anyone ro like because they, they they don't rotate this well here, right? So just be a little bit careful of like an Ash player who rotates back here. And then maybe dynamites you in the back and then headshots you, right? Just be a little bit careful of that. Just probably play in here next time. Um, because you've got more cover, right? Okay. 
So now we rotate. So much better, much better. Allow them, allow Nihilo to go first. Okay. And yeah, now we just rotate top right. We should be a bit quicker with this, honestly. Um, if they're if these guys are smart, they will just like immediately destroy this guy on the dive. Uh, while, while we're busy rotating, but no, 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 no dive team have done that yet. So. We speed up the high ground, all good. Or Nihilo can come with us, that's fine, yeah, and then he can drop later. That's also another solution. Okay, so again, here. And now we're in the absorb stage, right? So now Monkey's committed jump and bubble. The traitor's committed recall, right? Yeah, no V. No bubble. Uh, no shield, no no jump right. So now we're in the absorb stage, and we're, we're absorbing it quite well because of the nature of the bunker, right? These guys, because of my coaching, right? Uh, but these guys can't see, they can't do anything because of the cover here. Um, the tracer has to force her way through this tiny little fucking narrow area, and she's too, she engaged too early, she got a recoil forced early. So this dive is really easy for us to absorb, right? Right now, we're in the rotate stage. Probably didn't need to use Vision Burst there. If I'm being if I'm being nitpicky, we don't need to use it. I, and I get a really good wall. Look at this fucking wall here, by the way. I'm actually I'm actually goated. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my word. Yeah, you think I'm all comms, yeah? Nah, I got good walls in that. Um, but yeah, we, we, we I managed to catch the brig on the rotate stage, right? Um, and I wall that uh as as a result, right, to catch them on their downtime. Um, so that was good, fairly good wall by me. Um, but here, this is good. And then the monkey's peeking, but this has no teeth, right? Trace is out with no V, this guy's got no fucking bubble, and I, we managed to capitalize on their downtime by catching their brig, right? So that was really important. Then we're just absorbing, and again here, if you had vision burst, right? So that's, that's important, that's why greeting it is actually important, because it's such a long CD. And brawl mirrors is less important, actually no, it's equally important against dive, uh, but especially in brawl mirrors, you cannot waste region burst, like you just can't, because it's such a long CD. Um, like right now, if you had region burst, you just region burst yourself and then invest your team, and you don't need to use a lamp here, right? So, good lamp placement though, admittedly, so, but yeah. All right, good peeking, right, now now you're, this is good, right, now you're in the rotate stage, you're peeking as you should, because the monkey can't peek, right, this guy is half HP, no armor, um, he can't go in, right, so that's good. Okay, cool. Nice. So we got we got the brig and we got the uh, the Winston here. How we actually end up losing this, I don't know. We don't lose it, sorry, but I have to commit Blizzard here, which is really not good. Oh, nah, hello. That's fine. I, I don't mind you dropping. I, I don't mind dropping down if you want to region versus guy to get to get his HP for back up, and then you can pop back up right here. I don't mind that. Um, I think this actually honestly a misplay by me. I think I should have dropped down here because they're down too. I can drop down here, force cart, ball off the Ana more, um, force point, make it go quicker. I can just, I, I, I can, yeah, I can just drop point at this point. Like we've earned it, right? We've got two kills, so we've earned the drop. Um, so yeah, I should pro probably be dropping here. You need to go back to high bounds. There we go. I good. I'm not gonna cry about your bat mechanics too much. Like the shoot shoot heal thing, I'm not gonna cry about it. Okay, really good window. Right, so that's a good window, right? Again, there, there this is technically in the absorb stage, I will say. Let's see when you actually use the window here. Uh, I mean, it's, it's really scuffed. Actually, no, it's not. I, th I think it's probably in the prevent stage, right? Mainly because of this wall, right? So when this wall comes down, then they have to face up a window, which is really not good. So it keeps them on their back foot, which is good, right? The only one going in is that Winston, who, who, you know, who gives a fuck? So this is a really, really good window here, right? Really good window. Like, what do they do, right? Window... Also, the thing's fine, because I think it today's low HP, so that's fine. He's one. Fine. You use Vision Buster. Uh, for your top, I think, which is fine. Honestly, some awareness could have gone a long way, but it's fine. We get naded. It's fine though, we absorb with the Maywall. Here we go. I dropped the Blizzard on point. Probably don't need it, but I really don't want to lose this fight. Retakes, I will say this. I think on neutrals, it is close to impossible to win this if you dive. I actually, I genuinely believe this. I think it's, unless we fuck up majorly, I genuinely think on neutrals, we, we win Gibraltar first point every time. Um, because it's just so hard to dive. 
Um, so yeah, I, I actually think it's like so broken. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, not too bad there, to be honest. Um, just some stuff about region burst, and again, probably shouldn't be dying to that tracer there. You, you can actually greed your lamp. Um, it's the end of the fight, use it on yourself, you're fine. Okay. So yeah, here I think I make the I make the call to bunker, which honestly in hindsight isn't the right call. I probably should have called for us to push, uh, to rotate to high ground, clear up the high ground entirely, kill this honor, and then you and your top can stand here. Me and Sick can force cart, and then Alusio can be roaming uh, either here or on carts. Um, and you go, you gonna you guys can actually speed and overload and rush these guys on high ground. So. Probably that's what should have been done here. Um, just take space, take angles on high ground here. Um, initially, before, you know, because we get surrounded here, so. Yeah, so like here you need to do a mid-fight rotation, right? So if you're, if you're going to bunker here, there's two options, right? You need to either rotate through here, right? Or you rotate underneath the high ground and play from here, right? Those are your two options. I probably prefer this one because it's closer. Um, and it's got more cover here. Um, so yeah, you should be rotating to that right now. Okay. So right now, if I'm, if like, I, you're kind of in open space, right? Like, I'm actually shocked you're not dying here. Um, because the Arna should be just shooting at you. The Ash should be shooting at you. And you should be, you should be, again, be rotating through here, right? You sh you cannot be standing still here on, on carts. You need to be rotating with your team. Point presence, don't worry about it. Our Sigma, uh, me and Sigma brother. It's calm. Brand, you can see that you just took an arch shot behind you. Right? Waste of a region bust. Why, why, why region bust that? Full HP, right? I guarantee you, you're going to need that region bust eventually. Wow, that uh, region bust here would be great. Right? Maybe, again, an another mid fight rotation. You extra jump up here. You still got region burst. You bait out sleep dot. You kill this honor. You window here, and then you win the fight. Right, and that's just, that's a very individualistic play, but it's something you can absolutely do on the Baptiste, right? Because you have the carry potential to do so. Um, yeah, so like you just window up. You go up here. If you're too scared and you haven't got the mechanics mechanics to, to do that kind of thing, completely fine, right? Just shoot the honor here. Make this bitch go away. Bait her sleep dot. Bait her nade. Again, you've got region burst, you should be fine. Make her look at you and not our team, which will release pressure off that angle, right? And here, you can still see our team, right? You've got cover, you've got LOS, you can retreat back off the high ground if you get dove. You've got region burst, you've got an aggressive mid fight rotation through here. You've got another aggressive one up here. You've got a defensive one or a retreat, I, I just said it here. But you, you can retreat back here, right? And jump up here is what I'm saying, right? Um, it gives you so many different options. If, you've, if you're fucking... If you're feeling yourself today, right, and then and you want you want to go for this kind of rotation, kill the honor and then window here. By all means, go for it, right. Um, but it's not necessary, but it would be a nice thing to do. But here again, you could actually you would actually be safer up here. You would be safer because you're LOSing the ash, right? It's very counterintuitive. Um, again, it's the thing that Edward always says, you know, fucking um, when you when you when you're down main, you take more damage and you do, you you deal less of it too. So again, that's a really important rotation to do. Now you do it, which is good, right? This is good, this is good. And you force her on or off, which is good, right? But our team's already dead, so this is, this is too little too late. And then now you think, I think you win over here? Yeah, right, so again, you do this, right? But it's just it's just too late, right? Um, and then I think you die here, and the, you, I, I actually remember you saying this. Because uh, I, I, I always, <laughs> I was pressing tab when I, when, I was, when I came out of spawn, I was looking like, oh shit, we use window. Um, but this play, it's just, it's completely fine. If it was done five seconds earlier, um, so yeah. Okay. Let's see. Hey, I fuck up here. I I read my um my thing. This was my bad. Lamp there's reasonable. I just, I literally, I just got confused by the Doomfist that I walked back into it because he should not be, he should just, like, macro-wise, he should not be going into this room by himself. Like, there's actually no reason for him to do so. I was expecting him to, like, immediately strike out. Um, but I guess he just doesn't, so. I just like that, so. 
My bad. Yeah, I, I mean, I, going up again, going up here and taking the jewels fine. I would just probably rather. That's probably something I could do too. Like maybe you and I could like actually, I can warm myself. You can extra jump up here. I can warm myself up. We two v one this Ash. Um, I mean clear her off, right? Um, or something like that. So that's probably a play we can do in the mid fight. If I if I'm there, then that that Ash dies. Yeah, I just get my, like, my window that's not great, right? And like now, like if you're still here, I could probably say to you, or like if you again, if I didn't die, um, like I could again probably help you up here, right? So probably my bad there, we're just desynced. We'll just get because, because I die early. Okay. Full handle though. That's good. Rotation up here is good. Why drop low grounds into Doomfist? Right? You can see this guy from here. Right, you're fine. You're chilling. You've got high gunner's cover. You're with me on a really good angle. Look, look, look at the angle I'm on here, right? Imagine if you were with me. Look at this. Look at this shit. Hey, I hear a really nice thing with the on, right? Maybe you're here and you can finish with the on off, right? So I don't know why you end up rotating back. It's just, it's more dangerous and you do less, right? Because you're putting yourself at risk of the Doomfist and people here, right? And you're doing less because you're not on the angle here with me, right? Um... So again, we're kind of decent to it. that I killed the mate, uh, or the armor, sorry. But yeah, like if you were here with me, this would have been really good. Right, this would have been really, really, really good. And again, this position isn't terrible, it's not bad, right? But considering that we, we've got so much space and we've actually managed to catch the Hanzo early and we clearly, we've cleared off the side grounds, we can be here, right? We can actually just be a chilling. Um, so, yeah. Could have killed that Ash uh, way earlier if you were there with me. Region versus server season. Yeah, this is why you rotate too early. Um, I don't mind doing this. Right? If I, if I probably, if I'm nitpicking, I probably say this on uh, on on Edward because Edward needs to be pushing car here. And again, I'm doing the May the May thing, right? Um, I'm sure you saw you saw the clip. It's actually so funny. Um. It's so funny. Because if you look at the soldier's perspective, it's the dumbest thing ever. But that's what, like, you just... Yeah, right, so that's probably a slightly a team thing there. Um, and again, why I'd rather you walk up here with... with just do it normally and walk up here. Then exit jump here by yourself, because you haven't got six shield. Um, so yeah, and then Edward can push car, I can wall up myself up here. And then do the... Do, this is so funny. Wait, you need, to, you need to see... Look at the soldier. Oh my god. This is so fucking funny. I'll talk about you fuck up here by the way as well. You you, you rotate here not well. Um Which we'll talk about. Uh so what am I doing here? I think I'm just clearing up the handle right now. Hey, here it is, here it is. So that rotation now I'll talk about that rotation. Um but here you can see the, the soldier does not know where my blizzard is. And then <laughs> he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh man, he's cooked. Uh, it's even it's kind of even funnier from the honest perspective because she tries to fucking greed that shit. Um like she, she, I don't, I'm not even sure if she 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 sees it. Like I don't even know. And then she she gets kind of frozen by it and then hates herself and then gets killed off. So yeah, that's a really nice uh, that's that's that that's the play in action there. Um but your rotation here is A way too early and B completely in open space. Right? Why are you rotating ahead of your ahead of, ahead of your ahead of your sigma, right? Like this this kind of thing causes lost fights, right? And actually, if you live here, we we unironically we win this fight, right? Because I kill the soldier here, we get control of we get control of this position here. You live so you can window here with Skell, and now that plan has worked, right? Because now a sigma's pushing cart. Like six hits, Edward, Edward was still there. I, I lived, right? But Edward can still, Edward's still, Edward still alive, who cares? Right? I'm Sigma, you got Sigma May here. You got Bap, uh, Torp here. We've cleared the high grounds and we've got more range. We literally just win this fight, right? So why you do this rotation? I actually don't know. It's like Skelts for HP here. Like, you don't. He's just he's, he's chilling. Right? Gotta have a feed. Like imagine a window here. That goes crazy, right? Like you just kill that you kill that Hanzo immediately, right? You kill that Mercy, you kill that soldier. 
And now look what happens. Look who's gonna go back to high bounce. Right, these guys. And that's why, again, this rotation here is so important. But yeah, you can't be rotating. That's a bad, that's a bad nifi rotation, right? Again, two reasons. Because it's way too early, and you're ahead of your Sigma. You're out in open space. If you're gonna rotate there, if you're gonna rotate to high ground, by all means, right? Do it through, do it through here, or you can actually do this exo jump, right? After I've created space here, that's when you can actually get away with this kind of greedy play, right? Um, but yeah, like that's really important. You can't be, you can't be doing that. You can't be doing that. That will cause loose fights. That's really important. Okay. Um, let's see. So far, it doesn't seem like rotations, like you actually doing the, the rotations, doesn't seem to be the issue. It's it's mainly how you do them and when you do them is it, it seems to be the issue. Um, you either do them too early or you do them too late. Um, when the fight's already over and then you window, or you die too early with a headier sigma. But this is good. This is good. And again, spar framework, right? This dive is extremely easy to absorb, right? Why? Because these guys cannot see shit, right? And the Doom's the only one going in right now. So this dive is extremely easy to absorb for us. Absorb, absorb, absorb. Good region burst. I kind of fuck up the wall there, but, you know, whatever. Fine. I would say ultimates, by the way. They do not... They, all they do to, to the absorb stage is that they increase that peak on the graph, right? Or, and or, they increase the duration of the peak, right? That's all ultimates do in the absorb stage against dive. Right now it's just, it's just prolonging it, right? Like, who cares? So window there, uh, so, sorry, lamp there, probably not needed, but it's fine. It's not fine, actually, but whatever. It's, there's bigger fish to fire. This window's really good, right? So now we're in the rotate stage, right? And now, look at the downtime, right? This high ground is now going to be ours. This Doomfist is going to get fucked. Now we're pushing cart, and now we're in an ideal scenario where, again, we've got full map control, right? And we're probably going to catch someone here. Um, I was talking to, by the way, I was talking to Edward about this. Uh, Edward said that when you window here, he's gonna look to wall ride to here and boop the Arna soldier into your window, by the way. So there's something to note, um, that Edward's probably gonna do that. It's hard to wall ride here, but I talked to Edward and he, and he was like, Oh yeah, when we've done that rotation through here, that's when I'm gonna split off. And then that's, that's when I'm gonna wall ride up here. Um, so yeah, that's, that's Edward, just be wary, just be, be, keep that in mind. Edward's gonna look to boop these people there in front of your window. Yeah, that Doomfist is just brain dead, so we get we get the, we catch the mercy, we catch the Doomfist on the downtime. Really good. We clear space, right? This is excellent, right? This is really, really good macro. And again, you kinda again the rotation, right? If you die, this fight's actually genuinely almost usable. And if you had a lamp here, right? Like, you know. So you don't die here because the soldier's bad at the game, right? You can't track. You're very lucky that you live there. So again, ideally, you you either just stand here with your team, right, and you clear up the soldier first, clear flankers first, then take space, or you rotate to here. You can I don't even rotate to there actually. Just stay here. We can clear the soldier. It's fine, right? And then everyone can do the boop thing. So don't worry about that too much. But yeah, again, another not great, not great rotation. Okay, now we'll, we'll watch the defense, um, and then we'll call it wraps. Um, okay. Because again, you you don't have um, that many good rotations on defense. So. Um, and there's one, but there's one rotation that almost loses us first point here. Well, it does lose us first point. So I was talking to Edward about this as well. So where was it? Where was it? I think it was this. It was the last fight here for sure? I was gonna flux. So you blip second, we flux and we blizzard to absorb the dive there. I think I, I yeah, I zone out the honor as much as I can. I get the most BS wall. Look at this look at this wall by the way. Look at this shits. That's fucking that's so stupid. that's so fucking stupid. stupid. Yeah. It's really stupid. Um but yeah. Like if I if I ironically if I wolf that mercy then catch that mercy we we win the fight right um like unironically but yeah that's what it is. 
Again, the wall allow and buys us time, allows us to absorb the Doomfist. Meteor strike. Meteor strike, okay. Keep zooming out that person. Okay, so like here. I think it's it. I think. You're dropping that's fine. I don't mind you dropping that. Um, where was it? Did you guys. Oh god, I remember. Against the blade? Oh yeah, no shit, I think it was against the blade. Hang on. Oh, the Doom Punch. Oh yeah, no, no, here, here it is, here it is. Here it is. So like I wall, I call it BS wall, right? The Doom punches, and then he gets an Empower Punch, and then punches you into the wall, right? Now both of you, you Suzu and Immortality, right? But that's not the thing I want to talk about. That's not the thing. The thing I want to talk about is why you end up dropping to Logan in the first place. Right? Because why not rotate up to high ground where Skell is playing, right? And you've got Window. Jump up! Jump the fuck up! Get up here! Window here! This person can't peek! You, in fact, you probably killed this person, let's be real. Um, you kill that person, you kill this person, you kill this person if I actually got the fucking wall off correctly, right? Why not just jump up here, and then farm your, your window? You can window here, you can window here, you can window anywhere, right? You could, you could even do it from the same place as you did on first point attack, right? You stand here low grounds. And if you actually exo jumped up to high grounds, then Doomfist doesn't punch you in the wall in the first place. Right? This doesn't happen if you're up here. Right? And then the dilemma of oh, do we Suzu, do we immortality field? None of that shit exists if you are if you're up here. Right? So that's really important. That's another really important rotation. Again, I spoke to uh, what's his name, Matt Murray, about this on Angels last. Um, again, I'm gonna bring this up because it's so it's it's so important against dive. Um, but I brought this up to Matt Murray on Sojourn and when we're playing against uh, Vool Dive. Um, but rotating to, rotating to high ground as Sojourn or as Baptiste is so fucking important. Like, I cannot- it literally will cause lost fights. And this causes a lost fight. Like, I- it just does. Because now, you- we both use Lamp and we both use Suzu. Now they've got Meteor Strike. Now you're cooked, right? You're actually cooked. Because you haven't got Lamp. Right? You lamp- not right now, you lamp on the ground, you extra jump up to high ground, you window up here, you clear up the entire enemy team. Even if you die, still, Skull's still got window, this fight becomes a lot more winnable, right? If you- if you just rotate to high ground earlier. Um, again, I'm gonna bring it up. Uh, it was... Baiting... I think it was this. Yeah, it was this. Um... Where this one isn't quite, it's, it's still egregious, right? But it doesn't directly cause us a lost fight. Um, so I took about triangles and shit. Um, okay, okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. I do be coaching. Yep. I'm coaching. So yeah, here he goes. Yeah. So Matt, Matt Murray, there's the worst power slide you could possibly see to mankind. Uh, where does he do it? Yeah, Thor, Thor also swings wider. He gets knifed by 2 0, which is crazy. Um, so that, that ends up in, a die, in him dying. And then Matt Murray, he wastes Power Slide. Uh, where does he waste it? Because I swear to Christ, I, I picked it up. Why did I replay it? Um, please. Oh, this is the next fight now. Okay. Um,. Hmm. Oh yeah, here it, is, here it is, here it is. So yeah, he slides from here to here, right? And not to the high ground. And if he goes to high ground here, he doesn't die to the Genji. Or, or at the very least, he's got high ground as cover. He's got LOS to his Zen and to, the, to his honor. And he's able to just walk away and drop at the high ground and de-peak the Genji if he if made of stone starts to contest him, right? That's really important. Again, I'll show you another example. This was, again, this is more, with this is another, this is directly your, your hero. Um, it was Golden Glory. Um, yeah, it was up here. Uh, again, uh, Leo 2K on the Baptiste here. Uh, so yeah, now, I, and here's what I'm saying to Leo and I'm saying to Sojourn, that they need to j exo jump on power side to high ground here, right? Why? Because they can actually clear out the Sojourn, they can clear out the Kiriko here, who's behind here, by the way, you can't see, but the Kiriko's somewhere around here. And more importantly, the Junker Queen and the Tracer 
what the fuck are they going to do against a Sojin Bap and High Bounce? Right? It takes them time. Right? It's long and tedious and predictable if they're going to match you on High Bounce because there's only one way up. It's the stairs, right? You know exactly where they're coming from. So this is why I, when I, where I said to Leo and to Sojin, you need to be playing here, right? And it's a really strong poke position, by the way. So again, that's so important. Again, it's, it literally will cause lost fights single-handedly. Rotations to high ground. That's I, I I brought up so many examples there because it's so important. Um, but yeah, that's really that's really key. Okay, I think that's probably the only thing I want. I would I'll quickly blitz through on two X the rest of the board here because I think those are, those are the main things I want to go over. Um, it's sort of window timing in the spa framework, um, as well as the mid fire rotations in terms of the timing, um, and doing them to absorb dives properly. The rotations of Baptiste were not it. Um, so again, here, again, you can window here, prevent stage, we clear off the high grounds. I can wall myself up here. You can clear, you can extra jump up here as well. We clear the high grounds. Uh, Teddy can fucking TP to you as well. But a window here will be fine. Fortunately, we don't need it. Okay. Okay. That rotation there's fine, it's just that no one's there with you, right? And you can't see healing. So that's a, that's a good that's a fine rotation if you want to go aggressive. Okay. Okay. Actually, how do you dash with the Genji though? Let's see. Okay, you just haven't got CDs. Um what do you use them on? Oh, on the best of us. So yeah, maybe if you were here, you wouldn't have to use your CDs. Um, we, again, we can cut out the Synesthesia. And then catch him, sadly. You just haven't got your CDs, unfortunately. Um, probably don't need lamp there if you're, if you're using region burst. Um, probably don't need lamp. Yeah, right, it's one of the all, it's one of the other, right? So normally how lamp and region buster goes, you don't want them stacked, you want them layered. So ideally you lamp it first and then you region burst afterwards, or you do the other way around. You normally don't stack them on top of each other. Um usually. Probably then you do region buster. Okay. Yeah, if you region burst here, you exit jump up to the high grounds, you know, whatever. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll denote it as this. Um, so it says this. So, uh, window. Uh, well, like, yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, let's do the better wall here. Uh, let's use. So the first thing has to be windows, obviously, right? Window. In. A P or R stage. Of spa. Um, rotate, um, how do I say this? I'll say, I, I, cause this, this is more important, which one's more important? Uh, they're both kind of equally as important, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do this one cause it's easier. Just rotate, um, in cover, um, slash let sigma may walk, slash draw aggro. Um, then you rotate, and also exo jump, um, to high ground, um, it's better for the absorb stage, it allows you to absorb dives easier, you've got better LOS, you can get really, really good windows, uh, windows with gel, right, so that kind of stuff is really important. Um, so yeah, windows, rotations, and extra jumps, essentially, if you're really going to boil it down to that. Um, but yeah, so I will leave it off, I'll, I'll, I'll end off here. Um, last thing I'll say is, um, even though we, this is a 4-2 team, and we went 3-3 uh, three and three in scrims against them, I unironically think that if we stop losing fights to dumb shit, uh, aka you actually rotate properly with your team, um, and you extra jump to high ground where appropriate, um, your windows on this map were actually fairly good, so your windows weren't an issue there. But if you get your rotations down, I honestly think we'd probably go like 4 and 2, or like 5 and 1 against these guys. And then we can actually like scrim 4 3, 
for four four. Um, yeah, uh, I will say my comms also weren't amazing here. They were a lot better on Midtown. Um, I need to warm up my uh my my my, my brain there. Um, but yeah, like I'll be making calls throughout in terms of like when to go early. Uh, when I say early, just think about that as like the prevent stage, right? You're preventing them from even going in in the first place. Um, pushing them on the downtime. Just think of it as like that. Um, but yeah, so that's the general sort of outset or outlook of it. Um, I think this term, I mean, it's just like 50 minutes and I'm recording and I was going to be watching this. Um, but I honestly think we can probably get push like four points, like top, we can definitely get top 16. Um, I think we can get top eight, May if we're lucky with meta and season nine patch is really good. I unironically think we can get top four. Like I, I actually do think that because our, our macro will be better than anyone else in, in your NSC, like by far. Um. Because, you know, I, I, I'm i fucking on the, man's on the same minute. Um, but, like, a macro should be better at that point. So, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm expecting a 2-0 today, by the way. Um, I'm, I'm pretty confident we'll get 2-0. Um, so, so, yeah. But, just, yeah, just focus on rotations. Um, and windows are more of a team thing. But, yeah. Anyways, uh, any, any, have you got any questions?